I grew up Catholic, but I didn't go to Catholic school. So when I met the sisters, I had never met a sister before. And I was 21, and I thought that they were really nice, but I thought that their life was weird. And I, so over the next few years, I began to really like want to increase my relationship or deepen my relationship with God. And I decided to go to Guyana, South America as a Mercy Corps volunteer. And I went there for two years and I met the Guyanese Sisters of Mercy. And I was only there like a few days. And one of the sisters said to me, oh, you're going to be a sister. And I said, oh, no, I'm not. I went there with a plan of what I was going to do when I came home. And then a couple of days before I left, the same sister said, hmm, I hear you're thinking about the Sisters of Mercy. So while I was there, the sisters in Guyana really fostered my vocation and helped me to see that maybe this is where I was being called. Growing up, I never thought about it. I never knew about it. Um, and I, I never, I always thought that I was going to have kids. And as I began to really deepen my relationship with God and to see that, oh, there's another way. That, and I was very much attracted to the sisters. At first, I was attracted to the sisters and their um, deep passion for service and what the sisters in Guyana did for the people there. The one moment that was so far the greatest moment that I was like, I'm so happy to be a Sister of Mercy and I, I know that this is where I'm supposed to be is last year on August 2nd when I made my final vows. And it was really this 10-year journey of this is it. And if everyone had 10 years to decide what they're going to do with their life, I mean, there were many times that I thought about leaving. But to see all those women in the chapel and my family and my friends, it was like my whole life just like before my eyes and to know that it all led up to this moment. By being a Sister of Mercy, I... I have a special opportunity to extend mercy to the world and by the people that I meet because of sometimes the resources that I have and sometimes the connections that I'm able to make and sometimes the investment that the community makes in me as well. You're happy in who you are and in your vocation and you know that you're really making a difference, then I think that Joy will just exude from, from who you are. And for me, by the way, I live my life as a sister, the deep commitment to prayer and the connection with that prayer to my ministry enables me to balance my life. So it, it does make me happy, and I, there, it helps me to take the happiness to other people.